So I'm going to talk to you about stability, which is a really interesting topic. It's a good application of moments. We're here in Morzine in the French Alps and we're going to do some physics of skiing. To make something more stable, all you really need to do is to give a wider base and a lower centre of mass. And that's why when we're skiing, we're taught to ski with our skis at least shoulder apart. And actually when it gets a bit hairy, you can, you can make your base wider or when it's a bit easier, you can make your base narrower. And then you need to think about where your centre of mass is. And your centre of mass wants to be between those two skis at all times. Because if your centre of mass is outside of the base, then what's going to happen is there's going to be a resultant moment. So there's going to be a turning effect of that gravitational force, your weight, outside of the base. And that's going to cause you to topple. And that's when it's going to get uncomfortable. And we don't want to be falling over too much, especially when it's, um, when it's steep or when it's icy. So you've got your feet really far apart, so you've got that nice stable base, but there's also, um, you can fall backwards or you can topple forwards. So you need to make sure your centre of mass is in the right position um, over your feet in that way. So you need to really train yourself not to be scared and that beginner thing, which is to lean back when it gets steep, and you need to lean forward so your centre of mass is well over your feet. Uh, that's going to give you that more stable ski position. Now, of course, you'll see a lot of people who ski with their feet really close together, and that's just kind of showing off because, of course, the, the, the uh, narrower your base, the less stable you are and the more control you can kind of show. So if you see that, that's just really people trying to show off. But it does look pretty slick. And actually, you see some people skiing on a mono ski. So uh, what they've got is their boots actually clipped into one wide ski, and they have to have really, really good balance to be able to ski that thing down the mountain. But certainly when you're skiing really, really fast, then you're going to want that really wide base and low center of gravity. And um, if you've ever watched some ski racing, you'll see that they do get really, really low down to the floor, especially in that corner. And they get their skis really far apart, so they've got a really stable base. So I hope that was useful to you. I hope that's going to help you with your understanding so you're more confident and so that you enjoy your physics and so you do better in those exams. If you've got any comments, then do post them below. And if you feel like that was the type of video for you, why not subscribe to see some more.